So in this video we shall be learning the concept of a solid angle. So I am pretty sure most of you know what an angle is. Okay. So we have this length. Okay. Let's call this L. Just it, it is at some distance r away from this vertex. Okay. And define the radian theta as L upon r. And this is measured in your radians. Now let's go further up a dimension. So instead of measuring lengths, we shall measure the area. And instead of dividing by r, the distance, we shall divide by distance square. So here is a nice thing for visualizing. Let's say this curve, okay, this curved part is at a distance of r okay and this surface this is the surface of this balloon here has an area a okay so we define the solid angle as um we write that symbol is omega is equal to the area divided by r square okay let me just draw it quickly you have this cone and this is your this is your area okay so this is your area this is your r so the solid angle subtended by this area at your vertex let's call this o is given by your area divided by r square so just a quick question what is the solid angle subtended by an entire sphere at its center so this is a sphere okay and we need to find out the solid angle subtended by this sphere at its center okay so the area of this entire sphere area is 4 pi r square okay where r is the radius and therefore the solid angle will be area divided by area divided by r square which is equal to 4 pi r square divided by r square divided by r square so r will be this length okay which gives 4 pi and it's measured in steady radian so this r angle was measured in radians okay solid angle is me measured in radians steady radians okay, it's abbreviated as sr now this was for a special case okay where we know the area what about a general case in by which i mean if you have let's say this cone okay and this is your semi vertical angle theta so what is your solid angle in terms of theta r a and whatever okay so let's try to find out so this is our situation right here we have a cone okay the semi vertical angle is theta and this is the area that we want to calculate area below this ring okay so this is what it looks like we have this cone here is the vertex okay the if we like cut this so the semi vertical angle will be theta and this area is what we'll find out in terms of theta r and other stuff if necessary and then we'll divide it by r square so from that you will get our solid angle so the way to find out this area is to divide it into small circular rings and then integrate all of them okay so i'll take this ring right here okay and of course it goes into the board and comes out right here so it's a ring okay draw the dotted lines
okay now this thickness is a very very small thickness it's an infinitesimal thickness okay so these two points are at the same distance from this vertical line okay now um, let's say this point okay is at an angle of oops, angle phi from the vertical line okay and this point is at, is at an angle of okay some phi plus d phi where d phi is also in infinitesimal increment in your angle okay uh, this is d phi all right and now we shall calculate this area of this ring so this length is r so this length will also be r because these lines are, are on the sur surface of this cone therefore this segment length of this segment is r d phi all right um this is r d phi and so we need to then find the perimeter of this so radius of this ring okay so since this this is an infinitesimal area uh, segment the distance of these two points from the line is is the same they are at the same distance okay so this length will form the radius of this ring okay this length is r and then this length will be r sin theta okay r sin phi sorry okay so if you look at this triangle right here sin phi will be base sorry perpendicular upon hypotenuse so the perpendicular will be r sin phi now the area of this ring let me call this da since this is an infinitesimal area will be the perimeter of this ring times the thickness okay so the perimeter is 2 pi r but r here will be r sin phi is 2 pi r sin phi times the thickness which is r d phi okay so this will be 2 pi r square sin phi d phi now to find out the total area of this surface we just integrate it okay so as a phi will move from 0 to theta so integral a the 2 pi r square is constant so i'm writing this out of our integration straight away sin phi d phi now if i phi is 0 then you can imagine this line going all the way till this point so basically there is no area if your phi is 0 okay so the lower limit will be 0 and as our phi will approach theta okay your area will go to the area which you need to find that is a okay so our area be 2 pi r square sin phi integral is minus cos phi minus cos phi 0 to theta from this we get that our area is 2 pi r square 1 minus cos theta and this is a very important result okay 1 minus cos theta so cos so first we'll uh, it, it will be minus cos theta okay then minus of minus cos 0 which will be 1 so this turns into 1 minus cos theta okay now 
our solid angle becomes area divided by r square the distance from this point squared okay so this r square cancels out with this r square and it, we are left with phi sorry omega as 2 pi 1 minus cos theta and we have our result solid angle as a function of our usual angle now notice your omega is independent of your distance okay just like how our angle was independent of the length of these arms your solid angle is independent from r so if you want to find out the area of any section of a sphere okay and you know the solid angle and you know the semi vertical angle or the vertical angle you just calculate you just use this formula and then multiply it by r square so you will land up with the area now let's quickly check this for a few cases that we have discussed okay so what is the solid angle uh, by an entire sphere that's that is what we discussed so to cover an entire sphere okay and this is your part this is this part this is theta so to cover your entire sphere your theta must be equal to pi radians okay then this area will become the area of the sphere okay so the area is so the area is again 4 pi r square which means gives us the solid angle as 4 pi r square divided by r square as 4 pi star radian okay now let's do it using this equation so if theta equal to pi cos theta will be minus 1 okay so you're left with 2 pi minus 1 minus 1 which is 4 pi steradium so you can see it gives us the these two methods give us the same answer so i hope all of you learned something new today and as always thanks for watching stay tuned